What's up with this internet shit? Scramble TV. Good morning, my little shitties, and welcome to another highfalutin episode of Celebrity Shit. In today's episode, Justin Bieber is high. Nicole Kidman's face is scarier than Insidious 2. Tyga loves them some chocolate nipples like they're snow-cap candies. Zac Efron is surrounded with more cocaine than when we fucked in my dressing room. And much more corn-fed, fibrous, yet somehow still runny, celebrity shit! <laughs> Justin Bieber is officially a member of the Mile High Club. Supposedly, Justin and a group of his ladyboys got crazy high in their SUV on the way to the airport for a coast-to-coast -coast flight on a private jet. When the doors opened on the tarmac, the pilot said smoke billowed out, adding, I almost had to put on an oxygen mask. The Biebs didn't toke during the flight, but some members of his posse lit up Swisher Sweet Blunt cigars. It's perfectly legal since they were flying private. Swisher Sweet Blunt cigars, when you want to cover up that weed you're smoking, but we all know. It's my little commercial. The pilot says Justin was baked out of his mind on the flight. So much so that his head spun when he was asked to sign a credit card authorization. Bieber started saying, huh? What? Who am I signing this for? Most likely getting molested by closeted black rappers after getting so high at drinking GHB, Bieber was reported as spending more than 60000 on the private flight. Either way, he was most likely taking it like a champ. <laughs> Celebrity shit show. Nicole Kidman is preparing charges against a paparazzo who crashed into her on a bicycle, knocking her to the ground as the whole world cheered. <laughs> she's a jit bag. Kidding, I love her. Practical magic, but now she's all creepy looking, so knock her down again, everyone, every time you see her. Nicole had just left the Calvin Klein show for New York's Fashion Week and was returning to the Carlisle Hotel. As she walked towards the entrance, a freelance photographer named Carl Wu was roaring towards her on his bike as he should. Wu got dangerously close in the call. He appeared to hit his brakes, but it didn't do the trick. He slammed into her as she went crashing to the ground. Are you okay? <laughs> Nicole was furious and said she wanted to press charges against Wu and called the cops. When the cops arrived, they all looked at Nicole Kidman's face and went, ew. <laughs> True story. Celebrity shit show. Tyga's Make It Nasty video is biting him in the ass again. A fourth woman is now suing, claiming she was lied to about nudity in the video and then sexually attacked by a rabbit. I thought she said rabbi, like that would make more sense. The woman, Allison Brown, is suing Tyga and his second label, Young Money Entertainment, claiming she was approached in November of 2011 by a man who said he was tight with Tyga and she had a good look for his music video. In the suit, Brown claims she showed up for the shoot at a Hollywood Hills mansion where producers proceeded to ply her with booze, even though she was only 20 years old at the time. She alleges no one even asked her for ID, so woo boo hoo hoo honey, it's free liquor, shut the fuck up. This is when things took a nasty turn, according to the suit. Brown claims someone in a yellow rabbit costume grabbed her from behind her hips and started dry humping her. And when she pulled away from the rabbit, another man on the set grabbed her breasts. What I'm asking the entire world is, isn't that in every way the very exact pornos you always wanted to see? So kudos, storytellers. Celebrity shit show. Zac Efron recently jetted off to the mountainous cocaine capital of the world, but he wasn't there for the skiing. TMZ had photos that were snapped on September 11th in Peru, showing Efron smiling with fans. Then Zac flew to the South American country for some mountain climbing as well, to see the ancient Inca's ruins of Machu Picchu. He was also mobbed by screaming girls a week later at an airport in Cusco, not far from Machu Picchu. FYI, Efron entered rehab twice this year for a serious cocaine problem, most recently in April. And according to the White House drug czar, Peru overtook Colombia as the world's biggest cocaine exporter in 2011. Coincidence? Hey guys, there's all this cocaine. So should we? The answer is always yes, yes, yes. Celebrity shit show. The man who allegedly attempted to extort $250,000 from Paula Dean is locked up. A man named Thomas Pachulis contacted Dean's attorney, 
claiming he would release true and damning information about the celebrity chef's N-word usage if he didn't receive a huge check. The FBI tracked Pakulis down, then arrested and charged Pakulis with two counts of extortion. Pakulis struck a plea bargain with prosecutors, agreeing to plead guilty to one count of extortion. In exchange, prosecutors dropped the remaining count. Pakulis was sentenced to two years in a Georgia prison, plus one year of supervised release and 40 hours of community service. Paula Dean is now just happy there's another black guy in jail. And on that note, it's time to wipe yourself clean because that's all we have right now for this week's Celebrity Shit! <laughs>